Welcome back to Valley News Live at 10. Thanks for joining us. We're seeing a pretty nice sunset here on our Corwin Auto Sky Cam in Fargo. A lot different story compared to last night's event. First alert weather day saw some storms moving through the valley. Here's a picture sent in from Rebecca in Ada, Minnesota. Farmers seen a lot of damage to the crops in the fields with some hail as well as some damaging winds. This picture is over in Benford, North Dakota from Rachel. Seeing quarter size hail for them over there. So a few storm reports came in today. Now it was just two days ago that we had another first alert weather day and we saw a lot of rain with that event. Here's what we're looking at for a flood warning right now for Cass and Clay County at the Red River at Fargo. Currently in action flood stage not expected to crest until Monday, Tuesday or so in minor flood stage at 9 15.5 feet. So we're continuing to look at that. Other than that, current conditions right now in Fargo, we're sitting at 59 degrees with that pretty clear sky. 57 in Moorhead. Winds starting to die down. We're just at six miles per hour out of the north right now. In Grand Forks, we're at 55 degrees. So again, pretty nice evening. Getting to get a little chilly into the later evening hours across the valley. In the mid 50s for some of us, Fargo's our warm spot. Also seeing a 60 degree range down in Aberdeen. But again, cooling down into this evening. And we're going to continue to cool down because we're going to have some pretty clear skies throughout the afternoon or excuse me throughout the evening. <laughs> it's looking to be pretty clear only a few clouds off to the west in North Dakota. First alert forecast looking to be very calm throughout the rest of this weekend. Here's going into Sunday morning. Temperatures are going to be in the mid fifth or the fifties, upper forties possibly, but not too many clouds. So another sunny day for us going to be a little less breezy compared to today. So another mild day coming into Sunday night is the next chance for some showers to start developing. It's Monday morning and then also into Monday afternoon in the overnight hours because we've got a Monday is a first alert weather day seeing most of the area in a level one marginal risk, but southeastern North Dakota, some of South Dakota as well as Minnesota in a level two slight risk for severe weather. It's a few days out still, so we're still going to keep tracking it. We've got a chance for hail, maybe some damaging wind gusts. Tornado risk is also possible, so keeping our eyes on that. This is what the track looks like right now. Monday morning could see some showers developing in our western counties of North Dakota and scattered showers continuing into the afternoon developing into some storms possibly into the later afternoon and into the or the overnight hours seeing those showers possible some isolated thunderstorms is what we're going to keep keep our eyes on but clearing out into Tuesday with only a few more scattered shower chances that day. Sunday afternoon, it's going to be pretty nice. Here's our highs across for the rest of the day. Seeing some 70s, maybe a few upper 60s, but 74 here in Fargo looking pretty nice. Your 11 day planner Monday is that first alert weather day. Come next week, we've got a lot of storm chances looking at some rain. Fourth of July on Thursday, showers again possible, but we're going to be in more seasonal temperatures in the 80s, some 70s. It's the following week where we're going to get to dry out. Well, that's too bad that we're going to, these first alert weather days will be gone, but I know, they're right? sticking around and yes. even into the fourth, that's too, really, that's really too bad. It is. Keep your eyes on the sky so you know what to do with your plans.